Welcome to the video, episode 11 of the Civic Build. So in previous videos, I've talked about the engine build, the turbo setup, and building the intercooler system, but that leaves us with one bigger area to discuss, and that's the fuel system. To make horsepower, you need three things, air, fuel, and spark. The more air and fuel you have, the more horsepower you can make. Now in the Civic, since I'm running a turbo, it's ramming a whole lot more air in that engine, and I need to make sure that the fuel system is up to task to support all that additional air. Plus, I plan on running E85. Now, on the Civic and most fuel injected vehicles, the fuel system consists of fuel injectors, a fuel pump, a fuel pressure regulator, fuel rail, and fuel lines. Now, I plan on talking about all those items, but I'm going to start with the fuel injectors. Fuel injectors are a super critical part of the fuel system, they're responsible for squirting the correct amount of fuel into each cylinder. Now, stock injectors, they usually can't support more horsepower or stock, and most are not compatible with the 85. Now, when you do decide to upgrade your fuel injectors, that's something you do not want to cheap out on. Poor quality injectors may not flow the advertised rate, have poor spray patterns, may stick, and can easily destroy your engine before you know it. That is why I have decided to partner up with Alpha Injection Clinic. Their quality is backed by knowledge and experience. They utilize the latest machinery and software available to the market. On their ASNU GDI flow bench, they can run any pressure and pulse width to measure the flow and visually see the spray pattern. But there's a lot more to calibrating injectors than making sure they flow evenly. Short pulse width non-linear matching is extremely important as this is what makes your cars run smooth at idle and cruise. They have injector size from 750cc all the way up to 2600cc depending on the application and most are compatible with methanol, ethanol, and gasoline. A flow sheet is included with each set of injectors. And if you thought it couldn't get any better, they are priced below other top brands while providing top performing injectors. They have over 300 injector fitment applications, so go check out their site to see what they have for your application today. I want to give a big thank you to Alpha Injection Clinic for being our very first partner here at BSG Speed and Fab, and I look forward to a long working relationship with them. I ended up picking up a set of their AI 1300 injectors, which utilize a Bosch core and are compatible with methanol, ethanol, and gasoline. To figure out the correct size injectors you need, you can use a fill injector calculator. Enter the crank horsepower you plan to run, your base fill pressure, the type of fuel you plan to run, whether it's force inducted or not, the number of cylinders, and leave safety duty cycle at 85%. As you can see, it recommends 1200cc injectors. The AI 1300s will leave me with a little wiggle room if I decide to push it further. Next, I'm going to talk about the fuel pump. This is another item you do not want to cheap out on. The fuel pump is responsible for delivering the fuel to the injectors. I ended up picking up an AEM 340 LPH E85 compatible high flow intake fuel pump. This fuel pump will be able to support all the fuel needs on the Civic for its current setup. Now for the fuel pressure regulator. It regulates the fuel pressure by bleeding off a portion of the fuel to the injectors to control the fuel pressure. I ended up picking up a 1 to 1 boost reference fuel pressure regulator. Now what does that mean? Well, when you have positive pressure in the intake manifold on turbo vehicles, you need to increase the fuel pressure to overcome the resistance that's now in the intake manifold. On the Civic, I'm going to set the base fuel pressure to 40 PSI. Once the nipple on the regulator is exposed to positive pressure, it will increase the fuel pressure at a 1 to 1 rate, so for every 1 PSI of boost pressure, the fuel pressure will also increase by 1 PSI. This ensures that the pressure differential between the inlet and outlet of the injectors are consistent which allows the injectors to operate correctly. I picked up a larger fuel rail. Is it needed for my application? No, but it looks hell of a lot better than the stock fuel rail. And for the fuel lines, just like the fuel rail, I didn't have to upgrade them for my application but it really cleans up the engine bay by getting rid of the ugly hard lines. I picked up a kit from Chase Bays which includes the lines, fittings, and fuel filter. So now you've heard me say E85 several times. What is it? Well, E85, also known as Flex Fill, is an ethanol gasoline blend. 
85% ethanol, 15% gasoline. It's those yellow gas pumps that you see at the gas station. I've always wondered why it was cheaper per gallon than regular gasoline. What are the benefits of running E85? Well, it has increased resistance to detonation, which means you can run more timing, more boost, and it also cools down the incoming air charge. What does that mean? More horsepower. However, there are some downsides to running E85. It does require 30% more fuel over gasoline, not all gas stations carry E85. The alcohol content can break down rubber seals and the ethanol content is variable, which means some gas stations might have the ethanol content as low as 51% coming out of their E85 pumps. That is why I've decided to run a GM flex fuel sensor on the Civic. This sensor will run in line on the fill return line after the fill pressure regulator. It will measure the ethanol content and allow the Honda S300 to adjust the tune as needed based off the ethanol content. This will also allow me to run regular pump gas if needed. Now that I've gone into detail on all the parts, let's go ahead and get them installed. Now here's the feed line from the Chase Base fill line kit. If you notice the end, it's just your typical screw clamp. I'm not a big fan of these, especially on the high pressure side of the fill system. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I got a 5 16 hard line compression fitting to a dash six AM fitting. This will go on the hard line. And then I got just your typical uh, uh, six AM hose to fitting adapter that I'm gonna put on the end of this hose and then it'll just be a nice connection onto the hard line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that conversion now. So I wanted to show you guys before I install it on the car, because it's gonna be really hard to film this, but with this fitting, when you take it apart, you'll notice this little sleeve on the inside. So the way you install this is you slide it over the existing hard line. And once this is on the hard line, you slide this over the hard line, and then you install this, and then it crimps that brass piece on the hard line, makes it a nice tight fit, and then you just uh, connect it to the hard line. Now here's the installed fuel lines. This is the return, and this is the feed with the compression fitting installed. And it turned out pretty rad. So I'm really happy with this. It should reduce any chances of leaks. Perfect.
finish the install of the flex fill sensor, you'll plug the sensor harness into the S300 printed circuit board. Then you'll open up your Han Data software, select flex fill, then select S300. You'll notice that the parameters have changed based off the ethanol content. And there you have it. That is complete fuel system upgrade for the Civic. I really hope this video was informative for you guys. Make sure you guys go check out Alpha Injection Clinic. Their link is down in the description. And while you're there, check out my social medias and my Patreon. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because in the next video on the Civic, we're actually going to be starting it. So don't miss that. But as always, I appreciate you guys checking out these videos. And I'll see you next time.